Arc Manning and College Football 25 because we are all excited about this game. I have been playing this game probably more than I would care to admit at this point in time. My, my, my family doesn't know. Nobody knows how much I've been playing. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. I have absolutely destroyed my last week playing this game, but I'm back focused and ready to go. I let my nostalgia get to me. And I made a video about this last week. You guys can go check it out on Unafraid Show and make sure that you guys like, subscribe, tell a friend, everything in between. Played the game way more than I should. And I told you guys that this is what us old people were gonna do. We were gonna go back in time and feel good and the nostalgia was gonna hit us. And then all of a sudden we were gonna get slapped in the face. Like, hey, yo buddy, there's work to be done. There's money to be made. There's kids to be driven to activities and everything in between. So back to regularly scheduled program. And that's what happened with Ark Manning because Ark Manning lied to us. And I told you guys so, told you guys so. Remember when he said that he was not gonna be in the game? And it made me laugh because he said, well, via his representatives, that he was not gonna be in the game because he wanted to concentrate on football. And I'm like, concentrate on football? How is taking your 600 bucks or whatever you negotiated for an additional marketing fee. Why is that not focusing on the game? Well, here we go. Ark Manning, according to reports, got in between 50 and $60,000 to market NCAA 25. Oh, so what, huh? So that brings up two parts. There's two parts to this question. Why was NCAA so gung-ho on Ark Manning and Eli Manning doing that commercial together. Why were they so gung-ho on that? Hmm, that's a two-parter. I believe it is for two reasons. Number one, everything is for sale. Everything just ain't on sale. And Ark Manning and his representatives the whole time, that was their plan. They say he's not gonna be in the game because remember, it turned into a media story. Instead of, every other player being asked the exact same thing. Mm -mm. They did that to drum up some interest and see what the interest was. And it turned out it was worth 50 to $60,000 to get him to market the game. Genius move. But now the question is, why was it so important to them, to EA, to get him in the game? Bingo. That's the gotcha gotcha. Because from what I understand, Ark Manning, looks really really good he looks really really good but why would a backup need time on the video game or could even market it aside from him being arc manning well check this out here is my personal belief from things and whispers that i've heard surrounding the texas program is that in the beginning of the year of course texas is going to have you know, some some games that they expect to be blowing people out at the beginning of the season. And Ark Manning is going to play in those games. He's already used his red shirt gear. So now he's going to come in and get a chance to play. Well, here is what I understand is that if Quinn Ewers is not playing at the level that they expect, do not be surprised if Ark Manning gets an opportunity as they head into Big 12 play. Yes. The kid that's on the front of the video game, Quinn Ewers, there is a potential that there could be some sort of quarterback change if the season is not, even if they're winning. And remember, we've seen this before. You're like, George, how could this possibly happen? Quinn, possible first round pick. Listen, don't even matter. We've seen this before and recently. Look what happened at Oklahoma with Spencer Rattler and Caleb Williams. Remember what happened with those two players. Spencer Rattler was talked about as a potential first round pick. And he clearly is an NFL player. He got picked later. And he got replaced at, as a freshman while Oklahoma was still winning. Same thing happened at Clemson when Trevor Lawrence took over. They had just been to the national championship, I believe, the year before. And then you put a freshman in? Why though? And the same thing happened at the University of Oregon. Darren Thomas took Oregon to the national championship against Cam Newton. And the coaches at that point in time knew and informed him Marcus Mariota would be competing for the starting job next year and that they thought that he could win it. And that's why Darren Thomas left with a year of eligibility going on. And Marcus Mariota, obviously storied college career, 
So this is not new. And this is what I want you guys to watch out for because this could potentially happen if Texas is not thriving at the level that they want to. It has nothing to do with losing a football game, nothing. If they are not executing at the level on offense that they intend to, that they expect to, there could be a change.